Hey, hello. How's everybody? This is going to be a photo inspiration with Miss Angie from 4F Beauty. Now, we did a bunch of these back, back a while back. And then kind of got doing some other stuff and starting the new year let's go back to some stuff that we really like doing that was absolutely wonderful now somewhere over in here I'm gonna put a picture of what we're working with I think it's good well it could be over here nobody knows until I get around to fiddling with it with the the edits and stuff it is, believe it or not, it's an insect. It's one of the orchid mantises. And, oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes, I'm looking at the picture on my monitor, which is not in front of me. Now, there are lavenders and dark greens and misty greens and there's bright patches and there's some kind of creamy greens and 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 all manner of color and some browns and just gorgeous colors now the rules with the photo inspiration is that you can only use only use the colors that are in the photo, anywhere in the photo. You cannot use colors that are not in the photo. So, yeah, and now the problem is some of this is, is up to interpretation because we're working with a photograph. Our uh, monitors may not be showing everybody the same thing. That Cameras may not be showing everybody the exact same thing. But we do try to stay as close as possible to what we're seeing. The big thing is that we don't have to use every color. So we can pull a few or all of them. That's the most liberating part of it. Now, I love doing these. And when, when Angie suggested this picture, I was all about it. Now, we actually had this one suggested last year, but we never seemed to get it together to do it. So now we are. Let's see, I've got my face moisturized and primed and yeah, the breakout is getting better. It's still not all gone, but it's getting better. And I've got my Elf Putty Eye Primer on. So I'm going to get started. Now, if you have Hooded eyes like I've got. See, hooded eyes. Or if you've got deep set eyes, or if you're not sure which you have, Ms. Angie has this wonderful, wonderful explanation. She's got deep set eyes, I've got hooded eyes. But she's got an amazing explanation that she puts in the beginning of her. Um, films all the time and it seems to me like it's just makes sense for you to go look at what Angie's already got up because it would kind of be silly for me to try and recreate the whole thing. The main thing is once you understand the techniques for working with either hooded eyes or deep set eyes, you're going to do a lot better. Hooded eyes and deep set eyes 
both have skin that rub together, which cause all kinds of trouble up in this region. It's a similar problem, but very different workarounds. The shapes are different. Anyway, I'm going to start now this white is a bit yeah, a little bit wider than what's on the bug wing but I'm probably going to be going over it with some other stuff so don't start yelling immediately Because this is just a stark white that I've got in. I've pulled three palettes to work with. And I'm hoping this is going to be enough. I think I've got enough to come up with the colors I'm going to need. Yes, I know. It's a white primer base and white pigment on the brush. I'm just trying to get started a little bit here and ignore my hiccups. I'm trying very hard to ignore the hiccups. Got some of my homework done. And this particular class, since it's a, a upper level class, we're actually starting to work on our um, website and or blog so that we can, you know, talk to potential readers and tell people about the books and that kind of stuff and I'm going interesting now since I'm doing this I decided that I was going to start off making a actual website as part of a blog system I'm using WordPress because the I'm going to be pushing to get my first novel out before the end of the year. Granted, I've got a minute considering it's still only January, but that's where I'm going. I want to get my book moving. And I've got the start on the second book of the series. That I did during NaNoWriMo. So, figured what the heck I will do my go ahead and actually get my website moving using WordPress. And I picked a relatively inexpensive plan that got me, you know, my web address and all that stuff. And I'm going, okay, okay. 
Yeah, the, the, the class didn't require me to go buy a website. I mean, you know, they can't really require you to do that. But they wanted you to set up a blog or something similar, and I'm going, what the heck, I might as well go whole hog with this, since that's where I'm headed, is that whole hoggy routine. Okay, now, that's kind of, at least to my eyes, that's kind of the foliage green, which is kind of a dusty looking green, and I'm not going ham with that, because some of the other colors on the wings are going to take up the rest of my attention. And I figure this is plenty for bringing the foliage in. Yes, I'm using a teeny tiny little brush because I've got teeny tiny very little eye space because of my hooded ass. Let's see. Okay, this one doesn't have the green I wanted. The darker green for the wingies there. Let's see. Start working down here a little bit and going for a darker green have to even get darker than this for the gorgeous dark green that's in those wings. I don't want to do a lot of it though because I want to have space for the lavender. this one. I may try mixing this a little bit with another to see because this is still it's a little pale for what's on the wing but I can always darken it up with some other stuff you know I don't know if you can hear it or not, but my little dog is just snoring his head off. Which I think is kind of funny. He just snoring and snoring and snoring. Let's take some of that, some of that. And a little of this and see if we can't darken this up without having to yank another pound. 
Because the last thing I want to do is make you guys sit here while I fiddle with more palettes. Trying to find just the right one, you know? Nope, that's not it. I got a couple that are over here right in front of me from something else. So, nope, that's not it. I'll be right back. What? Hi guys, it's editing in my PJs me. Um, somewhere in the ozone is a piece of film that has me putting lavender here and periwinkle here after I finally got that dark green to work. Where it is, I don't know. I've gone through all my camera files. All I can think is that I may not have gotten the camera taken back off pause before I turned it off again to do the final reveal. You know, after I had got my foundation on and got all this mess covered and all that. So, sorry, but all I did was put a little bit of glitter glue in here. I still don't call it a cut crease because I'm not really being precise. And, you know, put some lavender here and some periwinkle here. So, you know, you see the stuff, but you don't see me actually take a little brush and tap it onto the, uh, the glitter glue. Sorry. Bye. Editing me, signing off. There you go. Oh, look. I forgot to put the eyeliner on. I got the lower lashes and, and I got and I got some of the underline. I forgot the eyeliner. That's really sad. You know? So, let's see. Now, I couldn't decide with the wings, that big swirl in the center, a light colored swirl. There's a dark color that separates the green, the larger green patch that the swirl goes through from the paler colors. I couldn't decide for sure if it was black or dark brown. So I went with that black. Oh my, as 90s love child would say, Burp Squad, pardon me. what I get for drinking semi-warm soda. Now, because of my hooded eyes, I really don't need to go way out with my eyeliner because it's not going to show anyway. Because my eyes just fold right down Okay, almost there. Yes, I have to take little tiny strokes and then go back and see if I can manage to pick it up again without making too much of a mess because my hands shake. Right now, my left one, which I've been practicing with, 
is shaking a little too much to try this with. So, sad part is part of the reason I'm not making as big a mess is this relatively new, well, I wouldn't guarantee how new it was. It came in a subscription box. But, you know, it's relatively new. I haven't had it open that long, so. Make sure I've got my mascara where it's supposed to be. Now, Elf, I don't know if, how long you've been following me, but if you've been following me for a while, you saw me with my AOA Studio skinny, really skinny wand mascara that they came out with, you know, skinny, that they came out with doing the lower lashes and the fat one they were doing the upper for doing the upper lashes. Well Elf came out with one on each side. So you only need one two. Put my last coat and yes I did spray my face but I sprayed it immediately after I got everything on. Now I've got from my Moonchild palette, I used the Purple Horseshoe Highlighter. And I've got that in the corners and on the cheeks and up here under the brow line and on the end of my nose and then I took a purple pencil outlined the lips a little bit took a slightly shimmery nude and finished it up so, there you have it. You tell me what, well, me and Angie both, what you would do different. If you really like these inspirations, go ahead and do it. Send them to us. I want to see what you would do with this picture. If you want to be involved in the picture inspiration stuff, check in with Angie. This is her baby. Go ahead. Play with your makeup. See what happens. Be good.